based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Desired of my beloved brother that he should make known unto you what ye should do because of your afflictions. And he hath exhorted you unto faith and to patience. And we have beheld that the great question which is in your minds is whether the word be in the Son of God or whether there shall be no Christ. I will testify unto you of myself that these things are true. I do know that Christ shall come among the children of men to take upon him the transgressions of his people and that he shall atone for the sins of the world. For the Lord God hath spoken it. For according to the great plan of the eternal God, there must be an atonement made or else all mankind must unavoidably perish Yea, all are fallen and are lost and must perish, except it be through the atonement. And it is expedient that there should be a great and last sacrifice. Not a sacrifice of man, neither of beast. It shall not be a human sacrifice, but it must be an infinite and eternal sacrifice. This is the whole meaning of the law, every wit pointing to that great and last sacrifice. And that great and last sacrifice will be the Son of God, yea, infinite and eternal. And thus he shall bring salvation to all those who shall believe on his name. This being the intent of this last sacrifice, to bring about the bowels of mercy, which overpowereth justice and bringeth about means unto men that they may have faith unto repentance. And thus mercy can satisfy the demands of justice and encircles them in the arms of safety while he that exercises no faith unto repentance is exposed unto the whole law of the demands of justice. May God grant unto you that ye may begin to exercise your faith unto repentance that ye begin to call upon his holy name, that he would have mercy upon you. Cry unto him for mercy, for he is mighty to save. Humble yourselves and continue in prayer unto him. Let your hearts be drawn out to him in prayer continually for your welfare and the welfare of those around you. After ye have done all these things, if ye turn away the needy and naked, and visit not the sick and afflicted, and impart of your substance, if ye have, to those who stand in need. Behold, your prayer is in vain. This life is the time for men to prepare to meet God. The day of this life is the day for men to perform their labors. I beseech of you that ye do not procrastinate the day of your repentance until the end. For you cannot say when you are brought to that awful crisis that I will repent, that I will return to God. Nay, you cannot say this. For that same spirit which doth possess your bodies at the time that you go out of this life, that same spirit will have power to possess your body in that eternal world. Contend no more against the Holy Ghost, but receive it and take upon you the name of Christ and worship God in whatsoever place ye may be in, in spirit and in truth, and that ye live in thanksgiving daily for the many mercies and blessings which he doth bestow upon you. Amen. Amen.